muchas gracias por el apoyo. Y bueno, estamos aquí más que contentos. Como yo lo dije desde el campamento, yo vengo a hablar arriba, arriba del ring. Yo vengo a buscar la pelea y vengo a conquistar el, el corazón de todo Dallas. Y donde quiera que me presente, donde quiera que vaya, voy a dar lo mejor de mí para que el público salga a los gracias. I'm more than happy. Yeah. I'm more than happy and I'm here to steal Dallas's heart and I think I did that tonight to where I was really happy with my training camp and it reflected into what I did on inside the ring. I couldn't have performed any better and the fact that you that you got to see it, that this city got to see it and, and I was able to celebrate with the people here, that meant a lot to me. All right, if we have questions from the media, by all means, raise your hand. We have our outstanding PR team. Raise your hand, ask your question, and let us know where you're from, what media outlet. Thank you. All right, this is Skip Brown from Dante's Boxing Nation by way of Aki TV. First of all, congratulations. Brian Garcia on Twitter said he wants to fight you next. Next, let's make the fight happen. What is your response? Brian Garcia dijo en Twitter que quiere ser tu próximo oponente. ¿Cuál es tu respuesta? Él dijo que ganara la pelea. Ven a Oscar de la Hoya, ven Ryan García, sentémonos a platicar con mi empresa y hagamos la pelea. Y hay que hablar arriba del ring, no en redes sociales, y vamos a pelear, no a bailar. Well, they said that I need to win this fight. I won this fight. Now, Oscar de la Hoya, Ryan García, come on down and negotiate with us. Let's make this fight happen, but not in social media. Let's negotiate and let's not dance. Let's fight. Pitbull, eh, César Seda por aquí, Decisión Dividida, América TV. Oye, sabemos que Ryan García está hablando todo eso en las redes sociales, pero también comprendemos que la compañía BBC trabaja entre sí y vimos hoy a un Rayo Valenzuela hacer un gran trabajo ante un, uno que fue rival tuyo. Eh, ¿Podría verse eso también, mexicano contra mexicano, tú contra el Rayo Valenzuela? Bueno, la pregunta, uh, the question is that, you know, regardless of what Ryan Garcia is doing on social media, there could also be the possibility of facing Valenzuela in an all PBC fight. Isaac, how would you feel about that? Isaac, uh, responde la pregunta cuando quieras. Yo lo he dicho, yo no me cierro a pelear con nadie siempre y cuando se lleguen a buenos términos entre mi promotor, mi manejador y su manejador de rayo, con Ryan, con Lomacheco, con... Bring anybody on. I'm not shutting the door on anyone. Uh, whether it's uh, Rayo or we, whether it's Garcia or it's Lomachenko, bring them on. I'm open to talk to anybody, but they need to talk to me first. That's where it all starts, really. All right, James Bell from the Boxing Source, Isak. Um, coming into this fight and, you know, when you came out for your uh, introduction, you had one of the biggest, um, you know, reactions coming out there and had a whole lot of support. What did that mean to you to have all of that support here in AT&T Stadium? Bueno, cuando saliste al ring aquí, te dieron una ovación muy grande. Digamos que fue una de las ovaciones más grandes de la noche. ¿Cómo te, cómo te hizo sentir eso, el apoyo, el cariño del público acá en Dallas? Pues yo me lo he ganado gracias a sacrificio, esfuerzo y arriba del ring, no haciendo publicaciones ni hablando en otros lados, sino con hechos arriba del ring. I've earned everything I have right now, but I've done so inside the ring with blood, sweat and tears, with the dedication that I put every single day, not with social media posts or anything like that, by doing what I have to do with gloves on. All right, I'm going to give Isaac Cruz the floor to give final comments because we are, you know, we've been very busy and we await the welterweight champion of the world. But Isaac, if you have final thoughts on what was a memorable performance coming off of your loss, coming out and wiping out your Ryokis Gamboa in the fifth round, I think proving to the world that you are without question a formidable force and a legit contender at 135. Your final thoughts before nearly 40,000 fans that you displayed your talents here tonight on Showtime Pay-Per-View. Isaac, te luciste ante 40.000 personas hoy, demostraste que sos un contendiente de primera y que además te recuperaste de la derrota de diciembre del año pasado. Comentarios finales, ¿qué crees que sepa la gente de este Isaac Cruz que se lució con un knockout en el quinto round contra un ex campeón como el Gilbert Gamboa? Que yo vine a dar un claro mensaje a la división, que Isaac Pitbull Cruz va a dar de qué hablar en la división y que no le, no le teme miedo a nadie, a ningún campeón, a ningún clasificado y usted para los grandes nombres. Gracias.
the whole division is on notice. I don't fear any champion anywhere, anytime. I'm ready for all challenges, bring them on. And thank you very much, everyone here, for coming to the fight. I'm going to borrow a phrase from uh, your promoter, one of the members of part of your promotional team, Sean Gibbons of MP Promotions, and say, Viva Isaac Cruz, ladies and gentlemen. Viva. Congratulations, Isaac. Thank you. Muchas gracias a todos. The Pitbull, ladies and gentlemen, you'll be hearing a lot from him. He allowed his fist to do the talking here tonight. Congratulations, Isaac Pitbull Cruz. Video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, Entitled, Betting Shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.